What's up guys? We're here at Lake Como and in this video we're going to show you our top things to do here as well as some essential travel tips that will help you plan your own trip. So hope you enjoy it. Located in the north of Italy's Lombardy region, Lake Como is known for its dramatic beauty. Shaped like an upside down Y, this vast lake stretches about 50 kilometers or 30 miles and is set against the foothills of the Italian Alps. Unlike other Italian lakes, Como boasts a chic atmosphere with historic villas and elegant towns lining its shores. In this video, we highlight 12 of the best things to do in and around Lake Como, including some hidden gems. At the end of the video, we'll also share some important travel tips that will help you navigate the lake. Now let's dive in. We are Zach and Ina. We make helpful videos about destinations around the world so you can easily plan your own adventures. The city of Como is situated at the southern tip of the lake. The old town is easily accessible and is the perfect starting point for exploring Lake Como, with train connections from Milan taking you there in under an hour. Within the old town, you'll find a maze of cobbled streets and cozy squares lined with shops, cafes, and stunning architecture. Don't miss a visit to the Broletto, which is an ancient town hall, and Como Cathedral, a gothic church with a beautiful dome and amazing stained glass windows. Beyond its historic sites, you can also explore the promenade along its lakeshore, which is a great place to relax, grab a drink, or simply take in the views and surroundings. From the old town of Como, you can take a scenic ride up the funicular to the quaint village of Brunate, perched high up on the hill. The ride only takes five minutes, and it's the quickest way to travel between these two areas. It's also an opportunity to enjoy some of the most enchanting views over Lake Como. Once you arrive in Brunate, you can decide to explore the village's charming streets, take pictures from one of the many viewpoints, or hike one of the trails. We hiked about 30 minutes up a steep hill from the funicular to the Volta Lighthouse, and our reward at the top was even more elevated views. It's also possible to take a paid shuttle bus to the lighthouse from Brunate if you don't want to hike there. The charming town of Milano is nestled on Lake Como's eastern shore. This hidden gem boasts a relaxed lakeside vibe with a picturesque promenade and harbor. It's a great place to sample the local food or stroll around the historic town center. It also has less crowds compared to the more famous towns on the lake. In the heart of Bellano, you can find a unique geological wonder. The Orido di Bellano is a dramatic gorge, which has been carved by a turquoise river over millions of years. Wooden walkways wind through the cliffs, allowing you to admire its cascading waterfalls and towering rock faces up close. It's a great experience that takes between 30 minutes to an hour to complete if you include photo stops. The entrance is right behind Bellano's main church. Bellagio, also nicknamed the Pearl of Lake Como, sits on a peninsula where the lake splits into three branches. This town is part of the Golden Triangle, which refers to the three most picturesque and easily accessible towns of Bellagio, Menaggio, and Verena. All three of these towns are located at the center of the lake, 
and ferry boats run consistently between them throughout the day. Bellagio is a picture-perfect town, known for its luxury atmosphere and stunning scenery. Cobbled streets lined with elegant shops and grand hotels wind their way through the town, culminating in gorgeous piazzas. However, while Bellagio is undeniably charming, its popularity also comes with larger crowds and steeper prices compared to the other towns around the lake. Pianni de Resinelli is a mountain plateau perched above Lake Como. Accessed via a steep winding road, this place offers a welcome escape from the bustling lakeside towns. Surrounded by jagged mountains, it's a mecca for hiking and rock climbing. The most popular hike is to the Belvedere Walkway. This easy out and back trail takes about an hour to complete and rewards with some of the best panoramic views of Lake Como once you get to the suspended bridge sticking out from the mountainside. On clear days, you can even see the distant peaks of the Swiss Alps. After the hike, you should definitely explore the town a little bit because there's a lot of cute cafes, restaurants and amazing views. Lake Como boasts a stunning collection of villas, each with its own unique charm. Scattered around the lakeshore, these historic estates offer a glimpse into Italy's opulent past. From the grand 17th century Villa Carlotta, famed for its botanical gardens, to the romantic Villa Monastero in Verena, there's no shortage of luxury to suit your style. We explored the iconic Villa de Balbianello, situated on the tip of a small peninsula on the southwest branch of the lake. This villa was featured in a number of films and offers stunning lake views and beautiful terraced gardens. Another villa we enjoyed was Villa Melzi in the heart of Bellagio. This one was adorned with lush gardens and exotic sculptures. Located to the northeast of Lake Como, the Valtellina Valley is a great day trip option. You need a car to access this alpine paradise, where you'll find soaring peaks, charming villages, and a rich history. Explore the capital city of Sondrio, with its impressive medieval castle that offers stunning views. And don't miss the chance to try Pizzocri, the buckwheat pasta dish that this valley is famous for. But for a taste of adventure, delve a little deeper into the valley to discover its beautiful nature. We explored Val de Mello, a glacial gem that is home to a crystal clear lake. Rock climbers flock here, but everyone can enjoy hiking in its lush meadows and soaking up the fresh air. Valtellina Valley is also known for the Bernina Express, a scenic train journey that connects the Italian town of Tirano to towns in Switzerland. Exploring the lake by boat unlocks a whole new perspective on its beauty. Lake Como offers self-driving rentals as well as shared and private boat tours, most of which launch from Como City. We opted for the freedom of renting our own boat. A boat license wasn't required, and we were given a full explanation of the rules and instructions of the boat before we left the harbor. We left a link to the boat rental we did in the description below the video. 
as well as some other group options. This is a really good activity if you're looking to avoid the crowds because you can kind of just find your own little pockets where there's no uh, other boats or people on the water. And plus you have a good perspective of all the little towns around the lake. Situated on Lake Como's eastern shore, Varena is also part of the Golden Triangle. This tiny village is one of the most picturesque on the entire lake, with lush mountains rising from the water's edge. The best thing to do here is to walk its shoreline on the greenway of the Patriarch's Trail and explore the Old Town, which is very small and consists of colorful houses and narrow streets. Don't miss out on a visit to Vezio Castle, an imposing 12th century structure sitting right above the town. The walk to get there is steep and tiring, but the views are definitely worth the effort. One of the best ways to take in the beauty of Lake Como is by hiking a scenic trail. We decided to hike on the eastern side of the lake, tackling a portion of the historic Sentiero del Viandante. After a short train ride from Bellano, we started our trek in the charming town of Verena. This moderate point-to-point -point trail was about seven kilometers or four and a half miles total and took us three hours to complete. With 360 meters or 1,180 feet of elevation gain, it was a challenge on the legs throughout the trek and definitely required shoes with good grip. From Varena, we first climbed the steep slopes up to the castle and then continued along the hill's edge through little towns and forests. We got some amazing lake views from the elevated sections and only saw a couple other people during the entire hike. As we descended into Bellano, the sun was starting to set over the mountains. The timing couldn't have been better. We put some other hiking options on the screen here as well. And you can find a link to the trail we did in the description below the video in case you want to follow the same path. Menaggio sits on the western shore of Lake Como. It was our favorite town on the entire lake. Boasting a central location, Menaggio is the third and last town that makes up the Golden Triangle. Unlike the other two, Menaggio offers a more relaxed vibe and a wide, elegant lakeside promenade. Its historic center is flatter and filled with cobbled alleys, charming squares, and beautiful architecture. The best thing to do is simply wander around the streets and soak in the atmosphere. But if you're looking for more action, there are also a few hiking trails that lead up into the hills from here. As we promised at the beginning of the video, we'll now share a few travel tips for Lake Como. First, ferry boats are a wonderful way to get around the lake. They're frequent, scenic, and relatively inexpensive. The public ferry service is run by Navigazione Laghi. They offer different routes, connecting the lakeside towns along the central and southern parts of the lake. For more information on connections and timetables, check out the links in the description below the video. For our second tip, we recommend not driving a car to most of the towns. Parking is scarce and narrow, and winding roads make driving a challenge. If you do have a car, park at your accommodation or in Como City and explore centrally located areas. We only recommend renting a car to reach hidden gems beyond the lake, such as Piani di Resanelli or the Valtellina Valley. You can rent a car for specific day trips from Como City or the city of Lecco, depending on which city your accommodation is closest to. The Golden Triangle towns of Bellagio, Menaggio, and Verena offer the easiest access for tourists, but they also come with a hefty price tag when it comes to accommodation. Como City provides more budget-friendly options, 
as do the smaller towns along the lake. Just make sure the location you're staying at is nearby a train station or a ferry dock. The lake's vastness is deceiving, so choose your activities for each day wisely. Reaching certain spots can be tricky due to the three-fingered shape and length of the lake. The eastern shore boasts a range of tunnels, which does make driving easier on that side. There's also a train line from the city of Lecco to Colico, with stops in the smaller towns. These make connections smoother on the eastern side compared to the western side. Finally, Lake Como is a nature destination, and most of the things to do involve being outside. Summer offers ideal weather, but brace yourself for crowds if you do visit at that time, especially in touristic hotspots. We visited during spring and enjoyed pleasant weather for the most part, but also had occasional rain showers, which stopped our outdoor plans on some days. If you're planning your Italy trip, we recommend keeping things organized with our interactive travel planner. Find a discount code in the description below the video. We also included other important links in the description that will help you with your Lake Como experience, such as an interactive map so you can get to each place that we mentioned. We'll catch you on the next adventure.